Hello Aquarius, thank you for viewing this content. If you could like or comment, I would appreciate it. Um, it will help this little baby channel of mine to grow into a bigger baby. Okay, so this week is a very um, enthusiastic week for a lot of people. Uh, you maybe have heard about Jupiter in re-entering Aries. And that is really nice because it's in connection with the sun. And that meet, brings a lot of enthusiasm during a holiday season. I feel like for you, Aquarius, this particular holiday, um, maybe uh, as well as a, f a few of the past ones, uh, is a little bit difficult. You maybe feel like isolating yourself. You maybe feel like other people are enjoying things that you are not enjoying. And you feel like just kind of tucking yourself away from, you know, all the madness that's out there. Uh, there is a new moon coming out in Aquarius on the 25th. That could uh, empower you to put your your heart out there a little bit. Um, it could bring some illumination to your problem. Uh, but the, the real thing is that there's somebody here who maybe from your past um, or maybe you're in a relationship with this person now but you've kind of taken a little pause. Um, but they really want to connect with you but they're kind of at a loss. They don't really know, um, you know, what to do. They want to get to know you better. They want to be in a relationship with you. But they need your help. And um, this isn't a flaw. It's actually a strength in somebody if they ask you for some feedback. Because it's not like we all are brought up with this, you know, manuscript on how to love people, how to show up. We, d we all don't have that uh, luxury. Um, it could be that you're a little guarded or they're a little guarded from some past wounds. But whatever the case, uh, this is a, a really good time to take advantage of reaching out to this person, showing up for them, letting them know how you feel letting them know that what you need, maybe um, maybe that's difficult for you, and maybe that's all part of the lesson. Uh, and some of you maybe feel alone, and, you know, this, this other card doesn't even apply to you. You just feel alone. You feel like you're isolated. And if you, if you are in the... If you are single and you don't have anybody in your life, you don't have anybody that wants to do better and they want you to tell them, if you are in hermit mode, what I want you to do is to at least try to get out during this next week uh, because good fortune can arrive and definitely can, um, you know, like your little lantern here, it can illuminate a lot of things in your life. And there could be some, you know, sudden, unexpected life changes just by meeting a new person. And it, even though that seems ridiculous, that seems, you know, like a dream, I want you to at least um, envision it. Because, you know, all it takes, if you think about it, at least in my life, it was just like a random event where I met somebody you know, I didn't mean to fall in love with a person maybe that I was working with or that I knew from a social group that I was with or like a friend of a friend. I was at, met somebody through a friend of a friend just by going to a party at their house. And something wonderful could begin right now, whether it's an accidental meeting, an unexpected meeting, but you have to come out of hermit mode in order for that to happen. So I want to at least give you that to look forward to if you feel like you don't have anybody.
for those of you that are partnered and happy and nobody's asking you what you can do better, then I feel like what's happening is that with the Hermit card, there's some, you know, readjustment that needs to happen. There could be, uh, hmm, you just, you may need to gain some new insights or understanding about your situation. And the only way that you're going to get that is just by, um, you know, pausing by taking some time and going within, and then that will bring things, um, you know, into the light, and then you can reach some sort of co uh, conclusion. Um, for some of you, I see that this could be the end of a relationship or the end of something, and that's going to make way for a beginning. Once you fully acknowledge that something is over, then whether you're burying the hatchet, whether you're moving on, and those are just examples, any movement um, rather than stasis, and the, the hermit is about going within, but it's also about stasis. It's about sitting still. And we can only sit still so, so long. We need to have movement in order for the energy to move. So movement toward a new beginning, um, you know, or even understanding what your next move will be. It will be clear once you acknowledge whatever is done. Because for some people, things are ending. Or you've been thinking about an ending. All of those things are possible with this card. Um, some of you have some walls built up in your relationship. And you need to ask yourself, you know, what is holding you back from being open or vulnerable with somebody? What is holding you back from actively participating in the 